we're going to talk about this my electric r32 skyline the first car i built and it's been upgraded multiple times so let's go story time with chris so this was built two and a half years ago it was the first ev i ever built uh, and it was the first time i ever ran a large tesla drive unit now when this was originally built as you can look back on some of the earlier episodes it was done with a Chevy Volt battery pack, a whole 16 kilowatts, but it did give us full performance. Um, and when it was built like that, it was in very different livery. It was very budget, um, but we did still run the Ryan battery management system, Tesla large drive unit and Tesla chargers. We had a massive amount of help with that first build um, with Damien McGuire, who does loads of open source stuff. And that's really what got us going. And because of this, it scored us our first contract to do three stunt cars for a show in Macau, all Tesla based. So this is where it all started. Um, we took it off testing and Luke Woodham from Monster Energy picked it up and he went and ran it in Lebrecht, France. So let's take a quick look at a video he's done there now. We'll do a short version of that video, but the link is just hovering above my head now for you to go and watch the full thing on his channel. So as you can see, Luke got on with it really well. I absolutely loved the car, but our big restriction was the battery pack. Only 16 kilowatts, didn't last particularly long. So we can only do about five minute runs at a time. So we desperately need to sort out some sponsorship to get a bigger pack. Um, the first bit of sponsorship came from Cage Laser Engineering. They picked up the car and put a full roll cage in it. They did everything. Start to finish, full TIG welded cage, absolutely beautiful workmanship as you can see. Um, and we got PB to sponsor a set of brakes, Driftworks to supply us some lot mod kits. So all that was done before Terry Grant took it to Goodwood. So have a quick look at this video from Terry. And here's the link above me. As you can tell, even with Terry being an old boy, <laughs> he can still handle something new. Um, once we got back from Terry, we desperately needed the battery pack sorting. So we managed to get Tonic Energy to sponsor us the battery pack. So we now have a 60 kilowatt hour Chevy Bolt with a B battery pack. Four modules in the front, run module in the back here behind the seats. Um, pretty tight fit. We'll probably do it differently again, the build, if we did it again now with how much quick, how much we've moved forward now with our cooling systems and plates and the battery options we currently have, but it still performs extremely well now. Um, and it put us in a really good state to go to Jim Canna Grid in Poland with Andy Stevens driving the vehicle. He did a really good job, really enjoyed it. And we're really hoping we can go back again um, when they do, when they grids around next to, to really show off what this can do, because we've made quite a few little tuning tweaks now to it. We also had, as you can see in this picture, Dago Saito, if I said his name properly, one of the best drifters in the world, took it out and really enjoyed it. He did two runs at grid. Um, 
which was quite phenomenal to actually have him in the car. Now let's have a quick look around the car in a bit more depth so you can see everything that's been done to it. As I said, it is it's a drift car. Um, it has a welded diff inside the Tesla unit, which I think is a first. Um, so it's rough and ready, but it performs extremely well. So let's take a closer look. Now hidden in the boot of the Skyline, we have our Tesla large drive unit mounted in a Tesla subframe. We have some PB coilovers either side on some custom top mounts. We have a Honda Civic aluminium radiator and we have a Tesla 11 kilowatt three phase charger and a Tesla water pump. So this whole area back here is sort of self-contained its own area and we have our type two charging socket in here. Now, before we look at this any further, just thought I'd show you how quick and easy it is to do a burnout. A very quick burnout so my landlord doesn't tell me off, but hey ho, here we go. Spins up to about, what, 160 max within seconds. Crazy. Now inside the Skyline, we have extended the whole column back and pushed the seat back to give a better driving position. We've got a Corsa electric power steering rack. Um, we have some what's left of the Skyline original dashboard here to give us our lights and our indicators and all the relevant normal vehicle bits. Uh, we've got a custom hydraulic handbrake here just to give us as much leverage as possible. Yes, we do have a hydro. The hydro deactivates the motor at the same time so we can lock the back wheels up and then we can slightly overpower it if we want to for drifting. We've got a OBP pedal box, which we obviously only have an accelerator and a brake. We've got left foot brake. So we've done away with right foot brake. So you're literally like in a go-kart on or off on either foot. Um, we've got a simple switch down here just for drive neutral reverse. In here is pretty straightforward and simple. We've also got our cage laser engineering roll cage, which we've lacquered it. So we didn't want to cover up the beautiful TIG world and they've done. And we have a zero V custom display in here. At the same time behind the seat here we actually have one of the bolt packs in a nice bright orangey yellowy color and just power the whole system up man you can check out the display as well we've also got uh, aluminium door cards we still have electric windows because i haven't got rid of the glass yet but it's on the list to do As you can see, we have our Tesla style circular display in here with our speed, our kilowatt usage, battery temperature, motor temperature, what gear we're in. And yeah, it's pretty clean, works really well, crazy fun to drive. Um, I think that's pretty much it about this car. Hopefully we'll be getting this out with a couple of uh, people very, very soon to put it for its paces and have a bit of fun in it. And we're really hoping once this COVID thing's out of the way, we can get it back out. Not necessarily, not necessarily competing, but just out there doing some demos and messing around with it again and just showing people what can actually be done with an EV. Thanks for watching. I've been Chris Hazel. Give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and we'll see you soon.